How useful is a cage for the video assist and what advantages and disadvantages does it have? And there are definitely a few points you should know, but more on that later. The cage itself weighs 190 grams, the sun hood just under 100. Almost 300 grams sounds like much, but it feels amazingly light. That's not surprising considering the base weight of the video assist is 820 grams. If we add two NPF 970 batteries for maximum battery life, we have a total weight of 1.7 kilograms. Seen in the complete package, you hardly feel 300 grams more or less. But it's a thing to consider. The monitor can be mounted with one quarter 20, 3 8 16, as well as NATO rail. These many mounting options are definitely an improvement over the bare bones video assist. On one side of the NATO rail facing the USB-C port, there is a small bump to prevent removal to the wrong side and possibly damage the cable. Unfortunately, the bump is very small and if the NATO clamp is wide enough, you can also move it to the wrong side. Whether this happens in practice depends on you. On the other side is a security pin. On top of the cage is another NATO rail, but completely without end stops or safety pins. All in all, there are pleasantly many and versatile connection options for accessories to the cage. Even four with area location pins, one on each side. In view of the total weight, however, you should consider how much you still want to attach to the cage, as many normal magic arms will not withstand the weight. You can reach all connections and buttons, but in my opinion, these are two of the biggest disadvantages of this cage. The on and off switch is much harder to reach with the cage and you have to press kind of from behind to turn the device on and off. That's not really a problem, but I find it a bit annoying. But much more important, the HDMI port. For example, if you have an Amazon Basic HDMI cable or other HDMI cables with an average large or larger plug housing, they will collide with the cage. No cable from different manufacturers that I happen to have lying around was fully compatible. And even a cable that fits the cage's design does not work with the supplied cable bracket. So HDMI cables with particularly thin connectors are required that fit both the HDMI port and the bracket. If they'd milled out a little more here, the cage could have been compatible with many more cables, at least without the cable holder. With regards to the clamp, however, I can imagine that the design is very limited because the HDMI connectors are very close together here. The mini XLR connectors are easily accessible, SDI is a bit fiddly. The USB-C port on the bottom is easily accessible and was so far functioning with all the cables I've tried. What I'm a bit missing though is a cold shoe on the top to attach a hard drive bracket or other accessories, such as the one on the cage of the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro. Is it worth 120 bucks?